Hey friend, Sherry James here. In this video, I want to talk about the fact that your mental habits are your life habits. Your mental habits are your life habits. We are coming to the end of this month's conversation about how to train your mind to think straight. So this is part four of step two. We did it in four parts every Monday, a new part, but we've been talking about step two of empowering the giant within you, which is to train your mind to think straight. And the last point that I want to leave you with is your mental habits are your life habits. And so if you are here for the premiere, then I want to encourage you to stay all the way to the end. I've got a free gift for you. If you get here after the premiere, I cannot guarantee that there's anything left on the gift, but uh, it is there. But um, definitely mark your calendar so that you can be here every time there's a new premiere. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that I want you to get with you, your mental habits are your life habits is that what you permit in your mind, you invite into your experience. Hear that. What you permit in your mind, you invite into your life experience. So there may be some things that you are entertaining in your mind that if you objectively thought about it and what the outcome is, that maybe you might make a different choice what you permit in your mind. So if you allow your mind to think about all the calamities that are happening in, in the world, if you permit your mind to think about all the terrible stuff that's going on, then you invite that into your experience. So you want to close the door on negative thinking, wherever it's coming from, whether it's the news or your closest friend. It's Sometimes you might, it might be time that's like, you know what, we're going to cut down the time that we spend together because the kinds of things that we're talking about, I don't want to really invite that stuff into my life. The second thing I want you to get is that no one is better than you or has access to greater resources than you. Your mental habits are your life habits. And so if you've got a mental habit of believing that other people have more than you or have better chances than you, then that becomes your lived experience. And so you have got to let yourself know that no one is better than me. No one has greater access. No one, I have a, um, one of my morning affirmations that I, um, that I read comes from someone named Preston Eli. And he says, no one, and I mean no one, not anybody, not the Pope, not the president, not anybody is better than you. The only difference between you and someone else is maybe they're doing something you're not doing. They are believing something better than you are believing it. But nobody is better than you. And so you also need to get that. Because again, when we're out here in this course creation space, sometimes it can feel like a crowded space and that there's not room for us. But I want you to get that no one is better than you and you have a unique audience that you are meant to speak to. And it is not that you need to be better than somebody else. I mean, you do want a course of excellence, but really is that you need to be crystal clear on who it is that you're speaking to. And then the last part of getting that your mental habits are your life habits is that you want to work by the rule of ever readiness said differently if you stay ready you don't have to get ready and so you want to always be in a a mode of getting ready for what it is that you desire you know you can only grow to the extent that the infrastructure that you've built out allows you to withstand that, that's it. You know, one of the things that we address in my mastermind where I work with ministers who also coach to turn their books, to turn their coaching systems into profitable online courses is building out that infrastructure that can sustain growth. One of the things that I learned the hard way is that sometimes the success can come and you don't have the foundation to support it. And so one of the things that we are that we do is help you build out that foundation 
right? That, that, that can sustain that growth. And so we actually help you put the systems in place so that the course is not just launched, it's not just profitable, but it's automated. Because you know what that frees you up to do? Put more time into ministry while your systems are working in the background. Listen, if that sounds like something that interests you, I want to invite you to send me a private message. I'm at Simply Cherry J everywhere online. And I want to invite you to join me next month when we dive into step three of Empower the Giant Within You. This is the best of the Bible hangout where we are revisiting a series that we've done before. This is a series from 2015, Empower the Giant Within You. All right, on the next screen, I've got your free gift. Go ahead and claim it. If you're here for the premiere, you'll have no problems uh, claiming the gift. If you're getting here after the premiere, make sure you set your clock or set your calendar so that you can get notified the next time the next video drops. Take care, my friend. I can't wait to see you in July.